NXT will air its next premium live event on Sunday, September 4th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern. Sound familiar? It should, because that's the exact date and time of AEW All Out. Pro Wrestling Bits. Subscribe now. It's AEW versus NXT 2.0, but also AEW versus NXT 2.0. Think of the drama and the subplots involved all around. It was AEW that embarrassed Triple H by dominating the Wednesday Night Wars. Fair or not, NXT's loss caused Vince McMahon and WWE brass to lose confidence in Triple H. After failing to put AEW out of business when NXT moved to Wednesday nights, the King of Kings was yeeted off his throne. From there, Vince and Bruce took over NXT and threw a bunch of paint on it. It took the scandal of the century and Vince McMahon's forced retirement for Triple H to return to power. And it doesn't sound like he's finna waste it. Seriously, Paul's not f***ing around. The man hasn't even been in power for a full month and he's already trying to get his get back from Tony Khan. Triple H got a new lease on life after being treated for a near fatal heart condition and now he's getting a new lease on life professionally as an EVP. Back when Tony Twitterfingers was gloating about being the longest tenured CEO in the history of wrestling Twitter, I tried to tell you it was a bad idea. That Tony Khan shouldn't necessarily be happy about Vince McMahon stepping aside since management was getting younger and more in touch with the modern day fan. What I didn't count on was WWE getting pettier without Vince McMahon. But maybe we should have seen this coming. For all the people expecting all these monumental changes with the WWE product now that Vince is gone, Vince McMahon and Triple H have a lot more in common than they have differences. All the responsibilities Triple H has now, he learned them from Vince. Stephanie McMahon is a Vince disciple too. I expect WWE to have subtle changes that'll make big differences like storyline continuity and a bit more freedom in promos, but a lot of Vince McMahon era staples are gonna remain in place. The NIL program isn't going anywhere. I do think bigger bodybuilder types will continue to have an advantage in WWE. And most importantly, WWE will remain the worldwide leader in pettiness. Triple H said, you wanna tweet about Vince retiring, little boy? Okay. We'll just run a show at the same time as your pay-per-view to undercut your buy rate. NXT going head-to-head -head with AEW feels like a reclamation project for Triple H to get the bad taste out of his mouth from the Wednesday Night Wars. But with the Sunday Night Wars, the goal isn't necessarily to put AEW out of business or even win the head-to-head -head competition. It's to do just enough to hurt AEW's buy rate. Also, I guarantee you WWE is already writing up the press release about the number of Peacock viewers for NXT that night compared to the number of people who bought AEW All Out, making it the most watched wrestling program in all of Sunday night. Woo -hoo -hoo, we about to get petty! Is it still cancer season? If NXT wants to do any type of real damage to AEW, it won't be with NXT 2.0. At least not the way it is. No offense, but Cora Jade isn't pulling viewers away from Britt Baker. Just like Braun Breaker isn't taking viewers away from CM Punk. NXT 2.0 needs to get better in and out of the ring with storylines and star power that will convince a casual wrestling fan to be entertained for $4.99 rather than paying $50 on pay-per-view. A marquee name or two couldn't hurt either. Jonathan Gresham, what up? And I'm not even saying that NXT needs to go back to the super indie it was during the black and gold era. Triple H tried that gimmick and got rain off of Wednesday night. Don't try to out indie AEW. If you're gonna counter program, then counter. AEW has inside baseball references designed to pop a subreddit. Maybe counter with a mainstream celebrity appearance that people outside of wrestling can connect with. What's Logan Paul doing that night? They have blood and guts that send women viewers running like Tom Cruise in a movie trailer. Maybe focus on angles and wrestlers that could win over the female demo. They have Tony Twitter fingers. Triple H should clap back on an Instagram story. Point is, AEW cornered the market on the internet wrestling zeitgeist. And WWE fighting fire with fire has already proven to be a losing strategy. When Eric Bischoff wanted to compete with WWE, he saw everything they were doing and did it differently. WWE superstars were cartoons, WCW wrestlers used their real names. WWE was a family friendly product, WCW was more edgy. If NXT is gonna take the fight to AEW and get results, they need to be different, more mainstream, less indie, less like AEW. Triple H knows this because he's learned that lesson the hard way. I don't think he makes the same mistake twice. And I don't care what they call this pay-per-view. To me, it'll always be known as NXT Payback. Who's gonna win the Sunday Night War? Which show are you gonna be watching on September 4th? Will NXT hurt AEW's pay-per-view numbers? Tell me in the comments!